Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking Nancy Sunny Sariana for the thir first video, first video today, a little bit like usual. This is part 34 of my series of How to Smoke a Pipe. Okay, part 34. Let me just fix the camera. Okay. And it, forgive me for being a little off right now. Um, it is very hot outside right now. It is hot as hell where I live. It's probably in the 80s right now, so forgive me for being a little off right now. It's very hot right now, and I'm trying to stay cool right now. I guess I might smoke outside, and um, it's very, very hot right now, so forgive me for a little off. So, part 34 of my series, How to Smoke a Pipe. Okay, uh, what causes tongue bite? So, in the last part, we talked about what is tongue bite. What is tongue bite, which is the irritation to your tongue or your mouth? Now we're talking about what causes tongue bite. Okay. In general, um, what causes tongue bite, there are many reasons you might get bit by your pipe, as I say. There are many, many reasons why you might get um, tongue bite. The most common reason, or what most common reason people think, is smoking too fast. This is a very common, not myth, but it's, a, it's true and it's not true. Now, by that I mean a lot of people think the only thing that causes tongue bite is smoking too fast. So if you're smoking a pipe like this, and you're puffing really, really fast, like Eh. Ash in my mouth. Eh, yeah. So, a lot of people think that's the only thing that causes tongue bite is smoking too fast. And yes, if you are smoking a pipe very fast and causing the tobacco to be very hot while it's burning and burning very hot, you are going to get bit. You are going to get tongue bite on your tongue, eh, and your lips and whatever. So, that's definitely a cause of tongue bite. That's not the only thing that causes it. A lot of people think that's the only thing that causes tongue bite is smoking too fast. And oftentimes when you're talking to people talking about it, people will say, well, you must be smoking too fast. You must be smoking that pipe too fast and making that tobacco burn too hot. But uh, and the truth is, in truth, there are many other reasons why tongue bite might be caused. A lot of it has to do with your body chemistry. Some people are more susceptible to other tobaccos, are different kinds of tobaccos than other people. So, <laughs> like for example, myself, I know if I smoke a dry tobacco, a tobacco that's dried out, um, that's just too dry, that will really cause tongue bite, especially if it's aromatic. So if I smoke an aromatic that has a, that's way too dry, that will cause tongue bite for me and really irritate my tongue and actually make my tongue hurt the next day. So that's another thing that causes tongue bite is tobacco that's too dry. It doesn't have enough moisture in it. Another thing that causes it is um, certain kinds of tobaccos, like Virginia's, like I was discussing in the last part. Virginia's, Burley's, Maryland, Cavendish, Black Cavendish, is more likely statistically to cause tongue bite. Because, <coughs> because um, it has more sugar in it. So the more sugar in tobacco, like Latakia, for example, English blends have very low sugars in them, and um, like pre uh, Latakia, and those tobaccos have lower sugars. So they're less likely to cause tongue bite because of the l lack of sugar in them, because they're smokier, richer, and heavier. But even a really good English tobacco that's dried out will give you tongue bite. Um, but um, if you smoke a Virginia, a, a vapor that is um, not even dried out, I mean, it, it could be perfectly moistured and it could be perfectly fine. Some people cause tongue bite. I know for me, certain Virginias like Dunhill Flake are bitey for me. Uh, Virginia Woods by McClellan's is bitey. Um, Peter Shockby's Luxury Wars by Flake is bitey. A lot of the Virginias, because they are so sweet, they have a lot of sugars in them, they cause tongue bite for me. But that's not everybody. I mean, a lot of people can smoke Virginias all day long and have no problems. So a lot of it has to do with your body chemistry and your how you personally react to tongue bite. And the next part will be talking about preventing tongue bite and what you can do to prevent it because no one likes tongue bite because it is a really bad irritation. It doesn't hurt. It's a lot of people think, you know, oh my God, you know, is it something to be, be worried about? Do I have like, like tongue cancer? You, no, no, it's something to be worried about. It's just um, a real bad irritation. And I'll be discussing not next part of the part after, what happens if you get tongue bite? What you can do? It's nothing to be worried about from a health point of view. It's just um, an irritation to your tongue and your mouth. And also, um, <clears throat> it's annoying. Because it causes your tongue to be fuzzy or hurt the next day. Anyway, give your thoughts, comments, subscribe, press if you want to. In the next part, we'll talk about preventing tongue bite and uh, so on. Anyway, give your thoughts. Bye. Bye.